Here at Homeland Haven Commissioner Judy Tinder getting attention on Facebook. This regarding a post she made about a petition that's currently circulating through the city. The petition calling for a council strong mayor form of government. News 13's Kelly Grossfield has that story. This is the petition going around the city of Lynn Haven right now, and Commissioner Judy Tinder says she needs your help getting signatures, and she's clearing up some questions about it. You should be able to ask anybody in office anything you want and get an answer. Commissioner Tinder calling for transparency when it comes to running the city of Lynn Haven. Obviously what we have has not worked. We're, we're living that nightmare right now. Tender making this post on Monday that talks about a petition for a strong mayor government. She says it's not out of the ordinary for her to make an update following a meeting, but she wanted to clear up questions surrounding the petition. By signing the petition is not saying that you approve to any certain way of us running government. We want the petition signed so that we can open it up for discussion. But the petition isn't the final say. She says they need 1,200 signatures in order for it to be filed. If the signatures are received, public forums will follow on the wording of the referendum. Then the residents will vote. Tinder says the phrase strong mayor is misleading and that the petition would not allow one person to have the final say in city decisions. We're under FBI investigation. This happened because there were no checks and balances or not enough. This happened because one person had all the say. She says this plan isn't just for now, but for future generations. I happen to be a very big fan of Margot Anderson. I always have been. But what we have to do is come up with a plan that is good for anyone. Margot's not going to be the mayor forever. I'm not going to be a commissioner forever. So whatever plan the people of Lynn Haven can come up with has got to be for the future. Reporting in Lynn Haven, Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.